Oh, hi, viewer. You know what this is. Oh, hi, yes. Dudley. Yes, this is the Spare Life Show. Oh. I am your host, the Dud Duds. Oh, Mr. Dudley, you're just such a wonderful host. It's good to see you back. Oh. And you are John oh. from the Green Schwinn. Oh, yes. Oh. As everybody knows. Oh, as everybody knows by now, this is wonderful. John from Green Schwinn. We've got this wonderful technology here. It's, it's all. Oh, uh, it's the D. Oh, uh, the D. I don't. Is that a D? I don't think so. I don't know what a D is, Dudley. I'm sorry. I'm not very musically inclined. Is, is that a D? Uh, that was the C. Oh. Hey, you skipped. You skipped right over it. There you go. Oh, so wonderful, Dino, for you, Mr. Dudley. <laughs> oh, Dudley. Uh, those oscillators are putting me into a mega trance. Yeah, the Dudley trance. Oh, welcome to the Dudley show. Isn't that a fabulous little song, Dudley? It was mega delightful. Oh, so wonderful. Well, you know, there's a wonderful other things you could do on this wonderful little moog here. It's a, it's a wonderful little delightful oh, synth. No, song. it's not. Oh, it's not a moog. I'm sorry. It's a and, and you said that wrong, so I'm oh. not going to correct you. I'm sorry, Dudley. It's not even what it is. I don't know anything about music, Dudley. You're the expert all the way from space, Mr. Mr. Fancy Wings. Well, fine, whatever it is, it makes wonderful, delightful sounds. And oh, I'm just going to show some of them right here. Let's see. Yes. You can only play one note at a time. It's monophonic. Oh, sorry. I forgot, Dudley. I thought it sounded terribly good, but I forgot you can only... You can turn up the glide. <laughs> glide knob. I don't know. It's on the left. Oh, there's so many little dots. Oh, here it is. Let's, try. Let's turn up that one. Turn it up and you hold, you hold one note down and then let go and hold another down and... Oh, I think I understand, Mr. Dudley. You are a master of... You get, you, you get, you get to do the glide. Let's glide. Hold, hold, hold one key down, and then on the other end of the keyboard, push up. Like that, Mr. Dudley? No, on the other end of the keyboard. Oh, that's terrifying. There you go. Now you can hear the, the, the changing. Oh, look at that's all this the glide. wonderful Dudley technology. Now you want to play with the filter knob. Oh, let's see this wonderful little filter knob. You see knob. the nine group of nine knobs on the right? Oh, I, I see that. Play with the upper left one while playing notes. Okay, uh, up, upper left. This one that says wonderful cutoff frequency? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Play with that one. Okay. Oh.
We're playing the music of my people. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to culturally appropriate the space ducks, Mr. Dudley. I just thought it was a wonderful little tribute to, to your wonderful people all the way from uh, whichever planet you're from. I always assumed it was Mars, but I, I don't really know. It definitely isn't Kolob. I don't know what that is, so Although that's most delightful. Oh, so it is a different planet. Oh. Shouts out. <laughs> I think you're from a wonderful planet New Orleans, perhaps. As you know, I, I just, you know, I'm not saying you're similar to a Mr. T.W., but y you're both a little strange and you claim to be <laughs> Americans, but I'm not so sure you're American, Dudley. You don't have a, the complexion to be American. I am not from New Orleans. Oh, great. Oh, that's wonderful. Awesome. And I'm not from the Poland either. Oh, no, Although Poland. they have nice music there. Oh, they do have wonderful Polish music, and you know what else they have? Those, all those wonderful little pierogies. And pierogi. Pierogi. Oh, oh, I could go for a delicious little pierogi right now. Let me tell you, folks. Did you know the pierogies come all the way from Eastern Europe, and you can get them? You can get them all over the city of Buffalo. And you know, let me tell you something else. You can put whatever you want in there. Don't listen to what the heretics out there say. You can put in there. Wonderful cheese and potatoes and... And that's it. You're good right there. Oh. And maybe some bacon. Oh, oh, wonderful bacon. Oh, that's a great idea, Mr. Dudley. Why and we... have a side of broccoli. I know someone who would like that. Oh, no, I don't know if we should summon her. Sometimes I think if you think of her, she, she shows up in the dead of night and stabs you with a carrot. You gotta be careful. But I don't know. That, that don't always just be an urban legend. But, uh... But, Mr. Dudley, I gotta say, I like your thoughts on pierogi. They're wonderfully tasty. You know, I once saw a theory, Mr. Dudley, that, that there's no difference between a pierogi and a, and a Pop-Tart, but I just don't think that's true. There's no frosting on a pop on a pierogi, but there's, it's just too different. Oh, they do make some of those Pop-Tarts without frosting. They're, they're really disgusting. You don't want those. No, I don't want that. That's gross. What's the point of it being a Pop-Tart, then? But that's... Besides the point, I don't want I don't want to I don't want to confuse pierogi and pop tarts because they're I, I I guess they're technically similar, but I don't like it. I don't like the comparison. The two pierogi are good and pop tarts are gross, except for the good ones. Oh, but yeah, let's play with this little synth again here. You gotta play with the knobs too. Oh, I'll mess with these wonderful little knobs. Don't neglect the knobs. Oh, I like these wonderful little knobs. Let's. Make it crazy here, Mr. Dudley. Oh. Yeah, let's see what this does. We're gonna get wild here in Nobland. But Miss Ono is wonderful. Look at her delightful hair. and Oh, I just love her wonderful singing voice. I don't care what anyone says. Yoko's a fine young lady. Oh, she's wonderful. Oh, Miss Ono. Oh, you're wonderful. But, but I don't know what Miss Ono's been up to these days. You know, her wonderful little son, Sean... I know, I know she plays music with him, but uh, but I don't know what Miss Ono does. I, I I hope she's still in the studio and going. <laughs> but I don't know that she is, because I don't know. She's old, but uh, she she don't act old. She's a wonderful, she's a wonderful young lady of 89 years old. I don't care what anyone says. That's that's just prim and. And, and wonderful and spry as a wonderful little spring hen. I'd take Miss Ono on a wonderful day out tomorrow if she offered. It'd be delightful. Oh, I'd, oh, I'd give her a hug and I'd, I'd, I'd even, oh, I suppose I'd even get her some wonderful tulips. It'd just be a great day through, through Central Park and, oh, gosh, oh, I don't know. It's wonderful. Maybe she'd even want to play with this wonderful little synthesizer. 
It's a wonderful little synth though, isn't it? Oh. some more. That was fun. Oh. Let's see what happens if we go over here. And, oh, let's mess with this. thoughts on everything, Mr. Dudley. You always stray from your delightful little space dimension and your other planet with all your little friends like Doodley and and, 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 and Miss... Uh, chicken Ball. Oh, Chicken Little. Is that, uh, uh, chicken uh, Ball. Oh, Chicken Ball. Oh, it's wonderful. Yes, Chicken Ball. And then there's, there's Whitey, the Polish Falcon. I, I didn't know that there was a space Poland. Oh, it's delightful. Uh, Earth Poland is already is already very strange. Uh, uh, space Poland is probably crazy, but I, I guess America is very strange too. You know, we do we do have we do have pig races here, and I always thought that was very strange. And, well, you know, Dudley, it's time. I've always wanted to give my little theory here. Now that I've got this moog here. I'd just like to say that it's a wonderful little transporter into another dimension that sucks out the wonderful, crazy musical sounds out of all the other dimensions and just brings them through the space-time continuum to our, to our primitive human and duck godlike being ears. It just brings it to you with pure delight. It's a, it's a magical device made of pure electricity and magical wonderfulness, and it brings us these great strange sounds right to our ears. That's all this wonderful little keyboard is. And, and I just, it's just wonderful. So, so she knows. Oh, it's, it's a great little keyboard. Let's do another insane little song. <laughs> Yesterday, believing that it's you. Yeah. You have never been you. Ever. 
Every day you wake up as someone else and think you have a lifetime behind you. Marshmallows flowing through your veins. But they take a little bit more every time. They take you to the Marshmallow Kingdom where ducks and dragons and silly things live. All the way into the crib you will decide to follow them there. That is why you have your hair. Ducks and dogs and things and tracks and all the wonderful things and tracks. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Alyssa Dudley. I just thought I'd share that wonderful little tune idea with you. It's a wonderful whimsy. It was delightful. Oh, thank you, Alyssa Dudley. I thought you'd enjoy this. I think I, I think I wrote that song and I was thinking about you about 30 years ago. I was living in Western Lower Manhattan. And I thought, you know, I thought I'd write a song just for you, Dudley. And, I, you know, it's been hiding there all these wonderful years. And I just thought it was time to show you. I spent, I spent many hours working on that. But, I, you know, I just thought it would be now was the time to show you. I don't know. Did you, did you like it, Mr. Dudley? I said it was mega delightful. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Dudley. I, I now why don't you come up with a new sound? A new sound? Oh, this is a great song, Mr. Dudley. I was messing with this wonderful little keyboard. Oh, this, <laughs> this little knob. Well, put it the oscillators. Oh, no, okay, is that these things? Okay, I think I... Oh, let's see what this is. Oh, no, it's not working. Oh no, Mr. Dudley, I did something terrible. Uh, you probably filtered everything out. Oh no, let me, let me fix this here. Oh, uh, did that do anything? No, let's see what I can do here. Oh no, I, I did something terrible, let's see. Oh no, Dudley, I, I think I ruined us. Oh no, let's see what I can do to fix this, Mr. Dudley. Oh, let's see. Oh no! Okay, this is boring television. Clap. Oh. Oh, sorry about the technical difficulties, Mr. Dudley. Your friends, let's get back to a <sighs> song. I had to fix it for you. Yes, you did. Your magical powers came in handy again. Let's let's play a song to, to celebrate. Oh. Destroy him, destroy him and his evil minion. But we can do it. Yes, we can do it. Doesn't say stop. No! Dudley, he's gotten to you! I was talking about the, all those imposter dragon lords. Oh, you mean like, uh, diaper lord Frodo? That, that guy's pretty gross. 
Yeah. Yes. There's also, uh, I saw a new one. Somebody was calling themselves Dragon Lord Jon Snow, and he wasn't having that. He wasn't too, ha he wasn't too happy about that. But, uh, that, that, that's DLF for ya. That's I delightfulness. No! Dudley, don't listen to him. He's tricking you. We have keyboards and synths here. What does that dummy have? Nothing. Guitars. Well, well yeah. A but... guitar and a bass, I think. Well, okay, you got me there, but still, this is a great song. Let's let's tune into the newest. Yeah, they're just as good as Dragon Lord Frodo songs. It's just a bunch of noise. Oh come on, I'm better than Dragon Lord Frodo. Well, I don't know if I'm that good. There's synth noises, and then he's got guitar noise, yeah. it's all noise. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's... I can't say I'm a dragon lord either, but maybe I'm a, I'm like a griffin lord or something. I'm a, you're the lord of ducks, so. Sounds like Leonard Nimoy's pet crystal. Oh, oh, and uh, Mr. Nimoy had a wonderful little pet crystal. I, I thought, I thought Mr. Nimoy was, well, I know about his wonderful dilithium crystals, but, but I, I didn't know about his wonderful little pet crystal. Does it make wonderful little delightful sounds like that? Yeah, that's how it talks. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I forget what the name of that thing is. I, I do remember that. that oh, it's Disco Vision. Oh, what's that little thing? He's got a little furry thing, too. I, I forget what they're called. They little pet fur things. I don't remember what those strange little things are called, but, but oh, you wonderful viewers out there know if you've watched through us this long, then you're probably as crazy as I am. But, you know, that's okay, because, you know, Mr. Dudley and I, we have a lot to say about a lot of things, and whether or not you agree with them is, well, it's, it's just... I don't know. I don't know what any of you think, you crazy people. Ah! I like it, and Dudley likes it, and Dragon Lord Frodo is, is, is crazy. He's a crazy man, and he lives in a castle, and he's far, far away. And, and, and Mr. Dudley and I, we're going to go there, and we're going to ransack his castle, and we're just going to we're gonna talk to him, and we're going to make him feel real weird. Mr. Dragon Lord Frodo has a cat, and we're going to save his cat. We're gonna, we're gonna take it away and, and make him and tell him he can't have it back until he stops tramming those dragons. It's our dragons, not his. Or maybe he just puts on a pair of pants. Yeah, that's that, that's really all that we really need. That's a good point, Dudley. You know, Mr. Dragon Lord Frodo, if you ever do see this, I want to give you a public service announcement. You're a wonderful man. You've got a lot of great views. No, you know, you're a terrible man. Really terrible views, but all that really matters is that you put on pants for the good of this nation, for the good of all nations, for the good of all nations and all planets and all worlds. And please. all of humanity. And all of humanity and duck manly. Just please cover up your horrible, horrible balls, and God bless you, you strange, strange man. 
I just don't give anyone else gonorrhea. I don't. It's, it's not. It's not good, Mister Mister Frodo. Mister Frodo, you got really, really fat, Mister Frodo, and you you got a weird cat, and you went bald, and you kind of you kind of losing your mind there, Mister Frodo. Well, Sam, you know the thing about that is uh, I thought I'd take a couple dragons and and write this wonderful little song. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> to everyone listening, to everyone listening. Listen well. This is the song you hear when you see My dear friends, welcome to space. My dear friends, welcome to space. In space you will hear sounds like... In space you will hear sounds like... In space you will hear like... I thought in space nobody can hear. Well... You Play synthesizers. Well, that's a good point then, Mr. Dudley. But you see, the thing about that is, uh, I don't know. That's, uh, I don't know, Mr. Dudley. You're, you're confusing me. I always thought these wonderful keyboards and synths could make all magic happen, even in space. And you could hear the wonderful clashing of starships and 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 keyboard ships and duck ships and. And laser beams. And laser beams and, and weird and weird blonde guys from desert planets with swords made out of light that somehow hurt you. And uh, I don't know. I thought you could hear all these things, but movies lied to me. And, and I just don't know, Mr. Dudley. I just don't know what I'm even doing anymore. But I like this wonderful little keyboard. And, and, I, and I think it's just delightful. And I, I, I want to play some more with it, whether you can hear it in space or not, Mr. Dudley. I think you're being very rude about the... The, the very thought process of, of ducks and, and sound and space and oh, just delightful little keyboard. Maybe it's not the sounds of sp space, Mr. Dudley, but it could be the sound of... Uh, I don't know. Does it count as space if you're on another planet? Because, I mean, I guess it's, uh, it's, it's in outer space, but so is, so is planet Earth, I think. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're in... I don't know. Maybe we're in... Oh, well, it, it, just, it just blew my mind, man. Oh, oh thank you, Mr. Dudley. Yeah. I thought so. You, you know, your yeah, hair is so space. delightful. You've got this wonderful little Elvis haircut going on, Mr. Dudley. You know, you did it just for the show, just for us. And, and I think that's just lovely, Mr. Mr. Duck. I, I think it's great, you know. It's such a delightful little duck. And, and, I, and I love your wonderful little beak. And, oh, this is a wonderful little song. Just for you. Know, it's being a duck. Okay, this is a duck song. <laughs> 